Wow, I'm really excited today. Today's the day that um, I actually got to get my solo drone. So uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Yeah, it seemed like they only had one at the location that I went to, the fries I went to in um, Sunnyvale. It looks like a carrying case. It's all, it's just all slides out. There's a little snap and Velcro. And there she is. Wow. This is awesome. So there's a lot of things that it looks like it's asking us to do first. I see a start here. And then I also see a required first flight update. Use 3DR solo app before uh, to update before your first flight. I've already downloaded the app from the iTunes store. And um, I've already run the preliminary update on the iOS software on my iPhone. And so we'll just need to do a quick sync. Well, it looks like it wants us to get started here. So looks like we put this to the side for now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so this is this is the unit, just, I just pulled it right up. It looks like it has a protective coating on top of the uh, battery pack. So it looks like I'll have to remove that at some point, but not yet. And then so let's go to the start here box. And this looks like it's completely um, sealed shut. There it is. Setup guide. And looks like a setup guide in maybe a different language. All right, so I have this. And then I have my first bit of gears. It looks like my prop. My props are in there. Mm -hmm. and it looks like also a charging unit. <clears throat> so let's see what's in the box. Okay, so we have the controller. Okay, the controller is still underneath. Then we have the unit, the solo drone unit, and the unit we've already taken out. We looks like we have six props, and so we have them. Some of them are labeled silver, and some of them are labeled black. And it looks like there's two different charging bricks that go with this. My guess is one goes to the uh, remote control, the controller, and then one goes actually to the unit. It talks about attaching the propellers, and it looks like attaching your GoPro, downloading the app. We already have the app. I've already installed that. Then we need to connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's probably where we need to jump in on this if we're going to connect to it to do the preliminary software update. And then the power on. Wow, it doesn't look like it's very, um, it's too much before we get going. And so here is the solo controller. Looks like it has 
a lot of um, durability built into the construction of this. I remember seeing one nearly identical to this um, at the trade show, Drone X Conference in Santa Cruz. Wow, it feels great. Love the weight of it. See what we're, see what else we'll, um, see what else we have to do to set this up.